It's the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. It says, Acts, the former generation. Let me get the King James Version. It says, For I inquire, I pray thee of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And we'll give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles of GMS, who the Lord set up, okay, to be the, the, the heads of, of, of this church. I'm your lock, Mara, off in the Sheep of Berea camp. Special salutations to the camp at Thabo and Mayim, Elder Karak Al Kahan, and Akrab Shapat. Uh, this is an inspiration through the spirit uh, from building with the uh, Akrab Shapat, um, in which he brought the scripture out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? So it says, For I inquire, I pray thee of the former age, and prepare thyself to, to the search of their fathers. So the Lord is. Um, pretty, the scripture is pretty much saying, uh, search out the ways of, of, of the old. And it goes, it continues to say in verse nine, for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon the earth are a shadow. And what really do we know? And this is why he's saying to uh, search out the ways of old, because the scriptures are written from our, for our learning. All right, I'm going to continue on to the next verse. This is verse 10. <clears throat> Shall not they teach thee and tell thee in other words out of their heart? Right. So <laughs> that, that's, that's actually what you'll get from the ways of old. And when you go into the scriptures, they'll teach you. They'll tell you the, the other things out their heart. All right. And this is the point of the lesson. Verse 11. Can the rush grow without mire? Now the rush. All right. You, know, you can see in the... Uh, the new King James Version or the new American Standard is a papyrus without a marsh. A marsh is pretty much a swampland. A swampland is pretty much a wetland where there's, um, there's an abundance of water. It sits in an abundance of water. So it says, can a papyrus grow up or can a rush grow up without mire? And that's no, it, it can't grow up without mire. It says, can the flag grow without water? And that, that, the flag is talking about the reeds, which is pretty much of the same family. All right, they grow up near the, uh, near the banks of the water or in, in basically swampland. All right, as the scripture is saying. Oh, right here, and you know what? The contemporary English version says the papyrus reeds grow healthily only in a swamp. So that's the only area, environment, where this will grow. Now, the point of this lesson it's to focus on the environment which is causing these plants to go, grow. So when a certain environment is needed to provide these plants a thriving point. You, these plants are around the resources for it to thrive. It's around the resources that keeps it uh, alive. All right, so with these res without these resources, they're dead. Now, we're going to go into the next verse where it says, uh, verse 12, whilst it is yet in his greenness and not cut down and withereth before any other herb. <laughs> now, you know, you, you could look at the other versions. It says, while still uncut shoots, they would dry up quicker than any other plant. Now, that's questionable because here it is, is a plant in its element surrounded by water, the nature the environment it needs, but yet it'll die faster than any other plant. Now that's heavy because, you know, I was uh, looking at this article with, um, how do I jump around? Oh man, I can't stand when my phone starts to do this. Um, here we go. This is a, you know, NBA, former NBA player, Delonte West, right? In which, you know, he has, it has been um, open that he has like a mental disorder. And he was uttering things out. Um, he played for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He played for um, a lot of different teams. Um, West, a former first round draft pick, NBA who made $16 million dollars. For the Celtics, Supersonics and Cavaliers and Mavericks was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2008. So here it is. 
This man is in an element because this is the NBA is 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 pretty much salvation to so-called black. And it's funny. It looked like it says reeds on his on his shoulder or, or it say red, but it looked like reeds. But here it is. Um, here it is. Uh, this is the like the salvation of you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. This is the salvation to make it to the league is everything. So this will be like the rush in the, the NBA will be like the uh, he will be like the rush plants or the papyrus and the NBA will be pretty much the swamp. It will be providing him the necessary elements to to continuously thrive. Yet countless players, Delonte West, Allen Iverson, Antonio Davis and many more. They'll die out faster. Look at Mike Tyson and his element. They'll die out faster than any other individual. You know, now they say, you know, he had a, a, a bipolar, a bipolar disorder. But if, the, if this is the salvation, the indoor bill, NBA, there should be a cure for that. It should be that that went away. This was taken care of. That's taken care of. And life is perfect because it's in an element that is thriving to grow. But with the most high shown is that the only element that you're able to thrive and grow with is the most high. All right. And, you know, you could play the video or go look it up. I'm not really going to get too deep in the video. And that's what the next verse is going to go into. Uh, this is verse 13. So are the paths of all that forget Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and the hypocrites hope shall perish. You see that? And that's what the hope is. The hope is the league. You know, the hope is these situations to be put in. The hope is a, a, a all black America. So even if the Most High put us in that element, which we was once, see, a lot of us don't know the history that we were uh, in the Book of Kings. We had, we ruled these societies. All right. We had um, everything. But it's a, um, let me get that. Uh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem waxed fat and kicked against the Lord. So when you forget the most high, when you forget the most high, the most high, you, you, you die faster than any plant. And that's what happened in Jerusalem. They forgot the most high. We had that society already. You know, this ain't nothing new. Oh man, we got to get an all black society or nothing but ours and black businesses and and, 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 you know, and these things. Come on. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 15. But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. You see? And what happened to Israel? Look at the state of us now. Look at Delonte West. That's the state of Israel. Bugged out of their minds. Shelters talking to themselves. Poverty, smoked out, K2, rap artists. You know, this is the state of, of, of Yasharala, the prince of the power, the people chosen by the Most High. And see, um, you know, they, once, once the Most High removed that hedge, like you read in the book of Job, I mean, man, you with it fast. You see how fast Job lost everything? I mean, it was like tragedy after tragedy. And Job was a man of the Lord. He got, a, he got seven times back. But that's the point. Again, without the covering of the Most High, <laughs> you'll die faster than any other plant. You know, verse 16, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they him to anger. You know, these are the things that they do. <laughs> Let's just keep texting. Um, these are the things they do, um, you know, to uh, that, that provoked the Most High, moved him to jealousy. All right. And then the most high, what, it, you know, he sent us into captivity, man. You know, so <clears throat> this right here, this right here, man. What? Man, all right. Why'd you hit him? Did he attack you first with the self-defense or did you hit him? Man, I walked down the street. The man approached me with an eye butt with a gun. He approached you, where's his gun at? I don't give a f Okay. Do you know where his gun is? I don't give a f Okay. Young champ! I'm the leader of the Goddamn Navy Shells! I know I'm 
end of the day, I'm the president Trump. I'm the real president. Okay. You know, he's snapping. I'm the real president, Navy SEAL. I mean, he's lost his mind. But that's, that is, um, that is just an example, all right? And you know what? I'll go into the book of Daniels because the Mophi plagued uh, the king of Babylon where he thought he was a, a beast. See, this, this, you know, to sit there, you can sit there and point the finger, but it ain't nothing. You, you, you doing this all up to the most high. The most high can plague your mind. You know, and there's a scripture that said, give me not uh, the plague of the heart. <laughs> you know, because the most high can really uh, 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 turn your brains inside out, put them, put them spirits on you. All right. But, um, those who um, forget the most high, that's what's going to happen to them. They're going to they're wither away. Um, um, yeah, verse eight, uh, 13. Um, yeah, it says they, they hope shall perish, man. The most high, I'll take away your hope. The hypocrite's hope shall perish. What it shall become? It says, verse 14, whose hope shall be cut off, who trusts shall be a spider's web. Right? So we, 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 what were you trusting in? The environment? Those resources? Uh, money? Um, a situation It shall be as a spider's web The most high will, will, will show it to you And when he show it to you You know you're going you're gonna to break it And fall and hurt yourself Because that's the point You know But it is meant to uh, It's meant as a lesson So you can wake up and be like Damn all right, that, I, I really thought that was something to rely on Let me just Let me just hope and Let me just Let me just chill You know what I mean this is this is this, this is the most high's uh, uh, uh realm. This is his way. So it's a hey, it's a, a spider's web, man. You know how light a spider's web is? You you walk right through that thing, man. And it's funny how the dollar bill has spider webs in it when you look real close. Cause that's the trust of the society is the finances. Um verse 15. He shall lean upon his house. But it shall not stand. <laughs> right. You, you leaning upon a situation, this environment, but it shall not stand. He shall hold it fast, but it shall not endure. You know, you're trying to hold it together. But only the most high. That's why uh, in, in, in Haggai, the Lord said, you know, you guys don't consider so much you labor, but little you bring in. You know, I, I'm surely blowing upon your situations because you build up not my house. You know, you, you trusting in your own situation, you trusting in these things. Let me get that. But I'm, I'm blown on it, bro. Duke, it's me. It ain't you. It ain't that you ain't make the right move. It's me because I'm messing that situation up because I want you to focus on something else. Um, you know what? Let me just start from verse one. Haggai one and one. It says, uh. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah by Haggai the prophet, unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shetil, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, saying, verse 2, Thus speaketh the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah of hosts, saying, This people say the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house shall be built. Right, so there basically focus on their own lives. Verse three, then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet saying, verse four, it is time for you, O ye, to, dw to dwell in your sealed, sealed houses, right? Um, and this house lie desolate. So, you know, your, your house, you hooking your, your, your situation up. <laughs> That's that you leaning on our house. And, and my house lie, lie waste. Now, what is the most high's house? It's just the church, his chosen. All right, that's really what the most high want us to focus on. It says, uh, now, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Yahweh, host, consider your ways. Think about it. Dwell on it. Verse six, ye have sown in much, and ye bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink. Right. But ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe, but there is no warmth. And he that earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. See, and that's 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 really that's really the uh, the situation. You put bag with holes, taxes, random situations, 
all right you, you, you never fall you want the next thing you're looking for uh you, you know you, you're never satisfied with, with in content <coughs> right you work hard you do mad hella overtime bust your ass right and you bring you bring in a little bit and then with that you bring in it's not enough so you got to go back out there and do it again and go harder and go harder but the most high is like yo just chill think about this situation real quick bro <laughs> Think about this situation because the most high can change the situation, but it's not going to be with you taking it into your matters. It says, thus say if the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemim, host, consider your ways. Uh, verse eight, go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it. And I will glorify, say, if the Lord build the house of the Lord. All right. Yahweh Shai was a carpenter. All right. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. He was a carpenter. All right, this building, all right, is in the, the important, um, more important to the Most High. All right, it says, um, verse nine: Ye look for much, and lo, it came to little. Right, you, we, we, you know, our expectations, all right, are always so much, and but sometimes you expect. I know for me personally, <laughs> man, you know, certain situations. You're expecting to happen because it's being said to you. It's like, yeah, this is going to happen. And, I, and this, is what every, this is what every brother, you know, this situation is made to fur. But the expectation is being told and, and, and you're hoping it, all right, as much. You're like, yeah, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. But it comes a little. And when you brought it home, when, and then when you finally got it, the most high blew upon it. <laughs> and you're like, you're like, what the fuck? So you're spazzing out. <laughs> right and that's what happened you get into a big jammy right and it says why say if the lord of hosts because my house that is wasted and ye run every man into his own house right you focusing on your own situation you ain't focusing on the house of the lord that wasn't in all your thoughts that wasn't in your mind you ain't even say lord willing you know <laughs> This was just you doing your will and doing your way and your pleasure. And, you know, the Most High was letting you rock with it before. But now the Most High, he's not, nah, nah, not, 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 not no more. Because it's just like when you with your kids, you let your kids probably play the game or do certain things. But then they look at, they look forward and expecting it and more and more, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this game. And you like, yo, nah, game's out, the game's out, it's, it's, it's hitting. Oh, where's it getting? It, 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 it ain't hit. Oh, I thought I was, nah. Thought you was what? <laughs> you see? You see? So, it says, uh, verse 10, Therefore the heaven over you is stayed from dew, and the earth is stayed from a fruit. You see? Because the dew, just like the situation, going back to the mire, the dew is the, is the environment, all right? The wetland environment that is needed for what? Plants and crops to grow. And without the dew, the oh, the earth, what is right? It withholds its fruit. All right, ain't, fruit ain't ain't gonna grow. All right, and if it do grow, it ain't gonna grow at its potent level. You see, because of the focus, because of the energy, because of what we're hoping in, and the Most High is, is saying that. And it, this ain't change. This ain't change. It's happening until this very day. What's today? Uh, January twenty second, two thousand nineteen. To this very day. And that's why you see situations with Delonte West. You see different situations where other artists or people, you know, Jake in general. All right. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it never um, it's never a satisfied situation. Now, verse 11. And I call for a drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon cattle and upon all labor of the hands. <laughs> the most I put a drought, you know, he put a drought on your work, on your overtime, on your situations, on this, on that. And oh, bloop, 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 bloop. And you like, damn, this got crazy. All right, but let's consider the most I ain't doing it just so he said, yo, consider Take a step back, readjust, and see what's going on, and then enter it the right way. Then Zerubbabel, the son of Shittim, the Most High could just let it happen, let it let everything prosper, be pro, you know, rock out for you. But then you get forgetful, as we read in um, Jeshurun, wax fat. So you already know that 
You already know the, you already know how you're gonna get. So he gotta do it differently. Then Zerubbabel, the son of Shatil, and Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, with all the remnant of people, obeyed the voice of the Lord, Yahweh their God, and the words of the Haggai, the prophet, as the Lord their God has sent him, and the people did fear before the Lord. Now, remember Zerubbabel. I want you to know how powerful these stories are. The spirit, Zerubbabel is governor, right? Haggai is the prophet. Haggai sends out that spirit. The Most High sent the spirit out, right? They heard it by the prophet Haggai, right? The fear jumped on Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was next to, uh, was it King Darius in the book of Ezra? Remember, he wrote the poem, The Woman, The Wine. And what did he get him to do? He got him to build up the house of the Lord. See, everybody had to put that spirit. You go to um, 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 Nehemiah. Is it Nehemiah? Yeah, Nehemiah. Right? Nehemiah was what? He was the, the cupbearer of Xerxes. All right? This is all around the same time frames. Xerxes was married to who? He was married to Queen Esther. All right? Now, Queen Esther had to get what Xerxes to um, get that paperwork to go to, to allow Israel to be built up. Um, uh, the prophet, um, just said, Nehemiah, Wait, the Most High gave him a message from, from the brothers from that, that escaped their captivity, and they was telling him how Jerusalem messed up, and the Spirit moved him to get ahead and then come before uh, Xerxes to ask him, you know, to uh, uh, be able to, to go to Jerusalem to build it up and give him the resources. And see, these are, these are the movements. See, these men had lives, but then it just became a point where this is what I want you to focus on. And, you know... Those are the times and those are the situations we're, we're, we're in. You know, we all have goals and different uh, things that we want to attain. And it's not necessarily uh, for a wicked, uh, wicked um, thing. But the most high is like, listen, nah, I, this is this is what I, you know, I don't I don't care right now. This this is first. I'm blowing that shit. Go ahead. Try again. You know, I'm going to stop that situation. And, you know, along the road, you be you be like, damn, there's always something. <laughs> It says, um, verse 13, it says, Then spake Haggai the Lord, the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah was messenger, and the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, saith the Lord. So the Most High is always with us, man, no matter what. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, you see that? The son of Shetel, governor of Judah. So this was a governor. So you see how the movements could be going on? Most I move this person, this prophet, get at this person. Now, this person, this spirit is stirred up. He's in a position of power. He's a governor now. He, you know, he's in a nice situation. He's probably always focusing on his situation and thing, which ain't nothing wrong with you sustaining yourself, you know. And Zerubbabel is a man of the Lord. All right. But that spirit stirred him up. And now he's moving in a, the direction that the Most High want him to move in full steam. Right. So to speak. And it says, and remember Zerubbabel, you read about him in, again, in Edris, first Edris, uh, the uh, fourth chapter. And he wrote the, uh, the poems. All right. So now he was a governor. He was he was a, he was a, he was also a, a good uh, poet. And it says in the spirit of Joshua, the son of Je and who created that situation for them to say, if this person writes the best thing i'll give them a gold chain and they sit next to the king and, and, and he'll hear out the request the most high put that situation together all right and then with Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel had to sit down and the holy spirit had to hit him and he had to really outdo the poem and when the most high allowed it to happen he got the he you know he got blood he still got you see this he didn't get blessed the way he thought you know like yo i'm gonna I'm focus on this my way and get it but he still got blessed he still got a gold chain you know that's a that's that's not to say you know those are things you're after but you know he still got blessed on the carnal side. He sat next to the king, you know, and guess what? The request, all right, was put out in the building up of, for, for, for Israel. You see, Most High still going to bless you, <laughs> even if it's not right away, you know? And, and that's what me and the brother Rob Shapat was uh, building on. And he's like, hey, sometimes the most I might be like, hey, you got to hold it down. Ain't nothing coming through this way. <laughs> you know, and that's true, too. That's true, too, because guess what? At the end of the day, we're unprofitable servants. 
where it says at the but at the very end at the most high that you still gonna get a blessing. <laughs> um, it just might not be there right away. It's like uh, and when we was on the highways and byways in the camp at Taiwan, Miami. We was going into uh, uh, he he went at the spirit jumped on him said going to um Jacob. You know the most high put the spirit on Laban to make him get Leah, hold it down. This is a situation he worked for seven years. Imagine working for something seven years, right? And on that day, you like, you know, you confirmed it because you worked for it for seven years. I'm definitely going to get that. You ain't know if he was going to be alive for the next seven years. You ain't know if she, that, that situation was going to still be ar around for the next seven years. And then on that day, you go to receive that situation and it ain't it. And it ain't it. It ain't even it ain't even it, man. You see, he had to hold it down and do another seven. But at the end, guess how he got blessed? He got Leia. He got a handmaid. He got Rachel. She got he got here. He had four four ribs, and not only that, he bringing the trip the twelve the twelve um what they consider the twelve patriarchs, which was just the twelve tribes of Israel, right? So it took that, and then do it, and then he left with uh a bunch of cattle. You know, for another extra he did. So these, it, 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 it had to be done that way. It, it wasn't done the way, the way uh, Jacob, but that's the scripture where it say, um, 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 a man uh, mind pondereth, and, but the most high God of his footsteps. You know, man's going to the Lord. Like the most high knew what he wanted, but at the end of the day, he, he knew that J Jacob, you're going to get what you want, but not how... You think you're going to get it on your time. You see? So it says, um, uh, yeah. Zephaniah, uh, Haggai 1 and 14. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shatil, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. When they came and did work in the house of the Lord, how about Shemiah was shy of hosts, their God. So guess what? That work got done. They came together. They came together. They put aside their whatever they was trying to get into, and they came together, and they focused on the Most High. In the 4 and 20th day of the sixth month in the second year of, of Darius the king, you see? And you read about the story of Edith, so you read... So imagine if the spirit of jump you you wouldn't read about why the woman is and, 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 and that 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 little situation be helping to edify brothers on, on females, right? But that was the all in the poem. So look, look how much came out of it. You get edified to know how to move with a, with a sister. You got edified to know, you know, these different things. Or for the spirit jumping on him, you know, look the avenues it created. And then also the, it, it got built up. So the most high is going to give you a lot of it's a lot of blessings that's going to come out of it. But, you know, we in our flesh, we can't see that. But that's why the most high say my ways is what is higher than your ways, man. You know, but that's it. Um, you know, that's really it. What I want to read. Um, but it was one of Daniel's I wanted to get. Uh, I'll see if I get it. If not, I'll just close out where um, pretty much the most high made. Ah, I'll just close it out. They, uh, I was uh, speaking on earlier, but um, hey man, Barakatayah, how Barakatayah was shy by Shimmer Kakadush. Uh, all glory and honor goes to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai always and at all times. Cause and 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 without the without even giving that glory to the Most High man, you you doing yourself a disservice. <laughs> you doing damage unto your own self without giving the Most High glory and honor. If you think it's gonna be you and the Most High's dealing with you, you you went for a long uh. A long uh, path of, of smacks in the face. So, you know, you just got to actually let the most high run his course, pray fast, you know, put it put aside the flesh and and uh, go through the process, man. Go through the process of that of that being being uncomfortable and not being able to see it. Like uh, um, like uh, uh, David said, yeah, I walked through the valley of shadow of death, you know, you know, but guess what? You ain't going to fear that you're going to get played. Because what, the rod and the, the staff come from me, the most side chastise you and, you know, and keep you in the way, you know, and, that, and that's what's needed. But Lord willingness is edifying, man, through the spirit and power, you have by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, by Shimmer Kakadush. And, you know, another thing as a spirit got to work on, um, or keep saying Lord will, Lord willing, because you don't know, you don't want to be speaking things 
as if you know, the only thing you know, you know, is what's written in this book. And that's because the most high spoke it from the beginning. All right. All your little situations in between your life, you know, be careful how you put that stuff out there, because when it don't go your way, you're going to feel burnt, you know, and then you're going to be mad and you can't turn him like, you know, like the most high plugging you. Bro, I ain't never even said that was going to happen for you. I don't know where you thought, you know, that was Oh, you because because someone else told you that was going to happen for you, <laughs> you know, so. You know, just in the habit of, of Lord will, man, because this is all on the most high's will and it's all on the most high's time, you know, and it's edifying, it's beautiful, you know, going through the process of learning and being able to most high actually giving us those lessons to learn from. That's even grace and the mercy from the most high. So it's man, most high has never, never have been no terrible power that, you know, done anything, you know, and the most high now, the most high is, you know, I mean, like reiterated the right way. Most I got some powers at it that could that could tear you up. You say Allah Shaja, but I'm saying unto his chosen, unto his people, Most High is not as they say. They say you know who have who have been confounded. You know, most the Lord always come through. You know, you just might learn the lesson a rough way, but he always came through. With that being said, Shalom.